So I thought I'd make a video of all my pets. And I think I'll start with my little princess, Chloe, who is obsessed with her ball. I had to get her ball to bring her in here. Chloe, say hi to the camera. Can you say hi? Say hi. Okay, say goodbye. Say goodbye, Chloe. Chloe, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Of course, she's being stubborn because she just wants me to play ball. Chloe, sit. High five. High five. Good girl. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh, good girl. Do it again. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Sit. Say goodbye. Good girl. Good girl. You want your ball now? Get that ball. She is totally ball obsessed. Okay. Okay, here's my cat, Jinxie. He thinks he's got swagger. He's kind of lazy. Are you talking to me, Jinxie? Jinxie kitty kitty. Jinxie. What you up to, Jinxie? He's been laying in front of the heater, keeping warm. He thought he'd get up when I started calling him. Oh, who knows where he's going. And then there's Monty, my African gray parrot. Mm, he doesn't know what to think about the camera. He's ruffling his feathers. Come here, Monty. Come see Mont Mama. Come see Mama. Hey, baby. Scratch. Scratch. Oh, you're mad, huh? You don't know what to think about the camera. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Let's zoom out a little there. Hey, buddy. Don't be mad. Mama's just filming you. What you doing? You gonna talk to Mama? Tell Mama a story? Come here. Come here, buddy. He talks all the time, but he doesn't like to talk when strangers are around or I'm recording or anything. If he knows I'm recording anyways. Say hi to the camera. I'd have you give me a kiss, but you look like you're mad. Come here. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he doesn't like the camera too much. This is my English Angora rabbit. Mocha, my little girl. She's going over to see Truffle, my little boy. Hi, Mocha. She needs a good brush, and they both do. I'll probably do that tonight. Mocha! Hey, baby. Oh, she keeps trying to get back here. Hey, Mocha. This is my male English Angora, Truffle. He's a little more shy. He doesn't like to leave his cage too much. See, there he goes hopping back in his cage. Truffle, come on out. He's only a month older than Mocha, but he's a lot bigger than her. Mocha. Baby, come on, come 
fall out. So I tried bringing him out. We'll see if he goes back in the cage or not. He needs a good brushing tonight too. Yep, there he goes. He just goes right back in the cage. I guess he feels safe in there. This is my male gargoyle gecko. The way I can tell the difference between my male and my female is that when they're flared up, my male is all kinds of shades of browns and oranges, and the female is actually shades of pinks and lavenders. I'm going to search a little more for her, but I couldn't find her in the cage. They're very good at hiding in all the leaves and everything. I'll look again and see if I can find her. He got mad when I took him out and pooed on my hand. I guess that's their defense. Hey buddy. Or at least I think this is the male. Okay, I was totally wrong. The other gargoyle was my female, which totally threw me off because usually when she flares up, she is pink and purple. But when I just got her out, she was browns. And I thought something was wrong there because if you look closely, this one has a bulge. So this is definitely the male. And he's flaring up bright oranges right now. I wish she'd have been flaring up pink and purple because she's very pretty when she does that, but I've never seen her flare up bright browns like that. So this is the male. Look at how he's all orange around his eye. So pretty. And the other one was the female. Hey buddy. And hopefully next season I'll get babies out of these guys. She laid one set of eggs this year, the female did. But they weren't fertile. And I'm thinking maybe they were just a little bit too young. Or sometimes they'll do that when they lay their first pair of eggs. It just won't be fertile. But hopefully next season we'll have some gargoyle babies. I have seven crested geckos. Well, actually eight now with the baby that was just born yesterday. My first hatchling. But I thought I'd start with this one, because this is the first one I found. If you notice, he's missing his tail. It's actually a pretty common thing with crested geckos. They do that when they're scared. They'll just drop their tail, confuse their prey. I'm really not sure why any of mine lost their tail. I don't know if... Sometimes I've heard they'll even just drop it just from hearing the sound they're scared of, like a vacuum running or something. But four of my seven Cresties don't have tails. Three of them do. I believe this one is a male, but it's still a little young. Five of them I got at the same time, and they were all around the same age. They were all babies when I got them. So I have two that were of breeding age this year, and they, they had eggs. That, and my first one hatched yesterday. The other one's still in the incubator. So hopefully these five next season will be ready to mate. Crested gecko number two. I'm almost positive this one is a male. Oh, he's trying to climb up my arm. But there he is again. Another tailless one. Yeah, he's a climber. Cresty number three which I also am pretty sure is a male. That first one I showed you, I'm starting to think maybe she's a female. But this one is a male. 
And he was just trying to bite me when I took him out of the cage. He's a little fighter. Another tail, this one. This one is my very favorite of all my crested geckos. It is the most active one. It's crawling up my arm, so I might have to put the camera down and get her him. I think it's a him. I was thinking for the longest time it was a girl. And I was hoping it was a girl, but lately I'm starting to think it's a boy. Hold on, let me... But yeah, this one is a very pretty one. Lots of Dalmatian on it. Even some little red specks there. Along with the color on his back. And like I said, it's the most active one I have. As you can probably see. But let's get it from this side. Maybe you can see those red dots. It only has the red dots on one side. Oh. Very pretty patterning. And this one will probably be ready to breed next season also. So disappointed that it's going to be a boy, I think. But still my favorite. This one is a full grown male. He is the daddy. To the baby I had that hatched yesterday. He's not very colorful. You can see he just jumped across the bed. They can jump pretty far. But I just had him out earlier and I think he's mad. This is the full grown female. She is the mom to the baby that, who was born yesterday. She is probably my second favorite of all my geckos. Quite pretty. She's got some Dalmatian and some pretty coloring. So I think I showed you six of the crusties. And I actually have seven. But if you can see in that cage it is very hard to find them. They hide in the leaves and they blend right in. And so I will leave alone whichever one is hiding. Or maybe it was two I didn't get. I didn't count. But I have two adults. Full adults that bred this year. And then there's five that will probably be ready to breed next season. This is my baby. Oh, he just hatched yesterday. As you can see, it's quite active. I incubated him at lower temperatures, so hopefully this is a girl. We saw both of, hopefully, her parents. And she's only a day old. There's one more egg in the incubator. It looks like it's going to hatch any moment. But it hasn't hatched yet. I have a couple fish tanks. Um, it's kind of a little harder to film, but there's my peacock eel. There's one of my unusual fish. But what I really wanted to get was my black ghost knife. Who is really awesome. But I think he is hiding inside that castle. If you notice there's a hole at the top and he likes to go down in that castle and hide. Mmm, quite fuzzy.
So yeah, Black Ghost Snipe is hiding. There are my two turtles. They're sunning right now. Looking kind of grumpy, aren't they? And I have one Pocostomus in the tank. You really can't put fish in the tank with them without them trying to eat them. But the Pleco is bigger than them. And he's pretty tough. So the Pleco seems to be okay. And he eats up all the food that doesn't get eaten by the turtles. Kind of helps keep the tank a little clean, I think. Although they poop quite a bit. So, yep, there's my turtles. They're actually pretty cool. If they're down in the water swimming, I can put my finger up against the side of the tank and they'll follow my finger around, but they're not gonna leave their little ledge there, probably. And last but not least, we have an egg that's going to hatch any moment inside this incubator. A crested gecko egg. The gargoyles had laid some eggs, but they rotted and they weren't fertile. I'm pretty sure this egg will hatch within the next week, at least. They say that usually... When one of a clutch hatches, the other one hatches within 24 hours, but it's been 24 hours. They say it can be up to probably about a week. So I hope it hatches soon.